Have you ever had a reason why you can't do something? Well, I figured I'd share my story with you today on this Motivational Monday, for those of you that don't know, to give you a reason why you can do something. So it was February 5th, 2003, the day first key club. We are heading towards Wachusa Mountain. We have brought our stuff on the bus to get ready so as not to miss a precious moment once we got to the mountain. In getting ready, I noticed that I have forgot one thing that I usually bring to Ski Club, my helmet. I didn't think anything of it, just thought I'd be careful. We got to the mountain, and because we were ready, headed straight for the top. On the way to the top, we noticed that it was very icy. People were wiping out everywhere because it had been raining. Needless to say, I got to the top and headed straight for the biggest jump with all my speed. And going up to the jump, I caught the edge of my snowboard, which threw me off balance. I was told that I went off that jump, I landed on my head, and that I wasn't wearing a helmet. The doctors told my parents that I probably wouldn't walk, talk, or eat on my own ever again. Now, less than three months later, I ran out of Franciscan Children's Hospital in Boston. Now, how did I get from in a coma, not being able to walk, talk, or eat on my own to running out of the hospital? Well, first and foremost, I set the big goal, and you should all have a big goal that you're shooting for. I set the big goal to run out of the hospital. Now, if you look at it from a standpoint of, okay, that was my physical goal was to do that. It was a pretty big deal at the time because shortly after coming out of my coma, I had to be supported by three nurses just to sit up in bed. So to set that goal of running out of the hospital, that was a pretty huge deal. So that was my physical goal. Now, I had to learn how to eat again, how to swallow again. So I slowly worked up through shakes, uh, yogurts, things like that. And then that became more and more. And eventually, I was eating normal food. Now, my goal throughout that whole journey in the hospital was a Coke and a grinder. Now, why a Coke and a grinder, people ask me. Well, I used to and still do enjoy getting a, a meatball grinder or a sub or however, whatever region you're in. I'm not sure what, you, what you're necessarily calling it, but a, but a big sandwich, a meatball sandwich and a Coke. So that was something I always, I always drove for and I always shot for. And on my last day at the hospital, we walked down to the town pizza, the local town pizza that was next to the hospital. And I realized my goal of having a Coke and a grinder. And then we left there and that's where I did my running. That's where I, I ran out of the hospital. So I realized both those goals because I kept them in front of me and I, keep, I kept working towards just accomplishing what was put in front of me by the therapist, by the doctors, because they were the experts. So my question for you today is, once you have that big goal that you're shooting for, are you listening to the experts, to the people who are going to help you get from point A to point B? This is Nick Prefontaine. This was a quick motivational Monday. Hopefully that helps you guys and we look forward to helping you real soon.